we have traveled uh, on this is our third day of uh, full day of travel uh, up the coast to a small uh, fishing village, uh, one that's actually uh, beginning to die out. And we want to visit with the local people to hear their story and to understand how climate change is affecting their world. So we're looking forward to that conversation this morning. Well, it really is a peculiar juxtaposition of the modern, which is over here in the desalinization plant. And then if we look on the other hand, we can see the sled dogs. We can see some of the sleds over here, and even see fish drying, the halibut that's drying over there in that, above that shed. So it really is an unusual combination of cultural pieces, the modern piece versus the old traditional piece that they're still doing. Uh, it's pretty interesting, a town of 45 people where they have a desalinization plant and a power plant that powers the whole town. But then right behind us here, we have the dog sleds and or sledges uh, that they use to take out on the ice and catch the fish. And it's interesting, the old way of life still mingled with the new. And I think that's what Greenland is all about, is that that old way of life is still here and it needs to be preserved. And so much is dependent on the icebergs and the wildlife. What we have here is a village that has uh, tried to adapt by putting in electric generators, by uh, getting a desalinization plant to provide water for the community, but yet uh, under the stress of climate change, the difficulty of uh, fishing in their traditional way, and also because of the declining size of the halibut, uh, these communities are not making the kind of money that they once did, so we're seeing uh, a shift in, in populations, and unfortunately it's a shift away from places like this. Hey guys, these rocks, these rocks up here are very slick. Well, we do have a get together. And they determined that 50% of the ice was melted under yeah. and uh, they also believe that we're going to lose the Arctic. But we should be back on the boat in like 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Otherwise, we'll get back to Lulisset pretty late and you already do have a tight schedule for the rest of the day. Uh, it's uh, a mighty interesting part of the world, but not one where I'd want to spend my life. Uh, but it was a very interesting visit. We had a great lunch uh, and um, and a great experience. But now we're back, headed back to uh, to do some more uh, work at the table and and to get into some deeper discussions about global warming and how it affects our future. It's the conclusion of wildlife are in the crosshairs of global warming. And the, uh, the species that most represents that today is the polar bear. Uh, as the Arctic uh, declines, so goes the polar bear. We've heard some of those details from Bob uh, yesterday.